the human clean body is like more than a miracle it functions phenomenally with staggering amounts of energy like you see in a child we have tremendous functioning organs typically and it's not so much about nutrition and taking things necessarily as it is to how well we will thrive when our body vehicle vessel machine is clean the powers that be have deliberately fed us with wrong information to basically poison and contaminate and to dirty up and to sticky up and to congest and dehydrate and acidify our machine the human body from childhood with addictive substances and processed addictive foods and even cooked which is a form of processing which is very bad for us cooked foods too cooked starches cooked oils cooked meat and dairy and grains all this stuff is like really 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 bad for the human body and after just finishing last night my third day of fruit only eating the fruit my fruit challenge that i'm participating in i just had like awesome amounts of energy and that's only after three days now i had such high amounts of energy i was running up the stairs i was doing jumping jacks i beat my skipping record and like i only got it a few days ago my jump rope skip skipping rope and the first time i tried last night it was like everyone else was in bed and i just, I just had loads of energy and i did 19 and then i hit my leg and then i did 121 which is my record my previous record from the first day of trying was 44. <laughs> And then I was doing push-ups, I was doing yoga, I was doing stretching, I was just bouncing on the spot. Overall, I just felt phenomenal. And then I was doing sit-ups in bed, and I was just doing like twists, and I just felt great. Um, I remember, if you check out my first two videos, or my first video or two, about like my first two days of fruitarian, fruit only. So then today, I woke up, and I definitely having some detox cleansing symptoms for sure. Um, I was just getting like, yellow and green mucus a lot I, I just cold and flu like symptoms the gold standard typical cleansing slash detoxification healing upgrading system where you're booting out stuff from your body you need to have good energy for that so anytime a human gets a cold basically speaking they get mucus that looks like cooked, cooked chicken how chicken and meat and dairy will put a video up here um how rotten carcasses of dead animals like ferment and putrefy and acidify and rot and get like putrefication and like even horrible stuff like worms and parasites in our body our GI tract is not meant for meat or cooked food or starches or rice or grains etc it's complete fabrication and lie from society which are trying to keep us bogged down weak sick ignorant keep us stupid to a degree disempowered and easy to control essentially so that's the corrupt powers and that's okay that's, that's a long story it's all meant to be the lovely beautiful experience of the soul we're playing the game it's okay it's all good but part of the game is to recognize what you could call the evil forces the dark forces now you can see my smile it's not like i'm upset about this exactly if you know what i mean obviously i care and but i don't let it disempower me i don't dwell on the situation i work for a solution which is why i'm making this video right now to help my human family to gain knowledge wisdom and awareness to empower them to make positive change to become more way more powerful energetic beings creator beings so that's what we are creator beings we create all the time so i also had a headache today for the first like time the worst headache i've had in like i don't know a long time 13 years maybe more um from feeling like top of the world last night to feeling the lowest i felt in ages i have like aches nothing i didn't even do any exercise here to my recollection just even my lower back where my kidneys are probably like filtrating like getting rid of wastes and toxins and acids through my pee my nose is blocked just feel like sinusy like achiness kind of congestion a lot of like phlegm and mucus and all this stuff looks like when you well how the gi tract breaks down and ferments and all the rubbish from starches that we cook like potatoes rice bread uh pastries cakes donuts scones yogurts da dairy yogurt dairy ice cream dairy milk cheese jesus pretty pretty bad and oh, of course just meat in general too so as I said, please do watch these videos that I'm going to put up at the end of the video or also in the video. I put one up a few minutes ago. Watch that one about how meat and this one now about how starch ferments and it just 
goes bad in our system. It's like gluey, pasty, putridness that like just congests, congeals, blocks, distorts, disrupts, irritates us, acidifies and deoxygenates us also fundamentally and essentially too. So it's a really bad scene, everyone. And like a, my favorite quotes, it's not negative to be real. It's not to call something toxic or rubbish or just like it's like would you like some people think you're being like a negative person to be going on about this a little bit or mentioning it even or saying it the truth because people are in denial and resistance about their addictions and habits and where they might feel some self-shame or self-guilt or the addictive part of their brain pulling them wanting their bad habit or their addiction now, I'm not, it doesn't mean I am morally or ethically judging somebody as being a bad person. The three basic uh, judgments are to, someone, to feel or think or to say someone is bad or wrong or dirty. And the dirty part particularly revolves around our body or sexuality. Um, you know, making people feel bad, wrong or dirty, ashamed and guilty for being the way they are. And I don't resonate with any of that sort of stuff. I call a behavior or an effect maybe beautiful and uplifting and delightful and nurturing and wholesome and has a gorgeous energetical and vibrational impact, which is literal vibrational frequency impact on our heart, our mind, our inspiration, our creativity, our in the flow, our high energy output to like make beautiful, positive, fun, happy change for ourselves and the world and our loved ones and family. So it's really important to distinguish being real from being negative, but also be aware, are you being negative? Like, and when I talk about these topics, I'm not being negative whatsoever. Um, once I was in a animal rights group in Dublin, like 15 years ago, when I first learned about vegetarianism, veganism, and raw foodism, and they were very critical and judgmental of other humans. And that's why I left the group, essentially. I tried to get them to be more warm-hearted and caring towards the humans who they were out on the streets, and I was with them. They were like very like ego kicky, like I'm better than you, you're wrong, I'm right, you're bad. The dirty part doesn't really come in, although you could say that they felt they were dirty, you know, in bear eating animals, for example, and participating in that slave trade industry. And I, I hear them and I understand them, but yeah, not something I want to participate in once it was a dirty energy. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a distorted, dirty, it was a chaotic or unfriendly energy. So I left eventually after buying them a book or two and talking to them a little bit and they didn't want to listen. And I tried a little bit again, and, you know, I asserted myself, but not confrontationally or aggressively, but they were just resistant and closed. So, um, my other quotation I really love is something along the lines of awareness does mean having an awareness on something and saying it doesn't mean you're judging somebody. So it's really good to be informed and knowledgeable about something, but just be very self-aware that you're not falling into the trap of like seclusion, like I'm better and right and brilliant and you're really bad and wrong, dirty and you're lacking, you're lower than me. That's another more immature part of ourselves, which some people call the ego. So just be careful with that. What else? Um, yeah, so it's very important to clean ourselves. We are fruit eaters with possibly sometimes some greens some green leafy vegetables, like maybe whatever, whatever's going, if you feel attracted to it. But in all honesty, we are attracted to fruits. They look good, they feel nice, they smell great, they make us feel awesome, they help us. To, we don't waste tons of energy on really incompatible cooked foods, recipe foods, which just make us sick and give us all the degenerative diseases and premature death known to man, which none of the wild animals like the wildebeest in the Sahara don't get. <laughs> If they're even in the Sahara, Sahara. So everyone, like, just like seriously, tune into your heart, be real, be honest with yourself. It's okay to be honest with others. Don't be critical or judgmental of them. Don't like create barriers, walls and labels and judgments and like, you know, labels. I am a fruitarian, I am a vegan, I am a vegetarian. The I am verb is the wrong phrase. It's I eat, I live the lifestyle, I eat these things. These are fuels. When we optimize and upgrade our fuel to our original, what we which is air and fruit with potential greens, a raw food diet of the simple kind of without any salt, chili powder, spices, condiments. Keep it real. The oldest man in the world, as they say, is 120 year old Swami Shivananda. He does two hours of exercise a day in the form of yoga and meditation. 
and he does not masturbate, he practices celibacy, he doesn't waste his jing, which is like ejaculating, doesn't waste that, which I highly encourage, and I try my best to do that in my relationship too, even though I'm in a relationship, I still do not want to particularly waste my seed and spread it, but it takes a lot of jing, life force, adrenal, creative power energy from you. It's a waste of energy. If you're not having a baby, try and minimize it. Just consider it, listen to your body, look at the before and after. You might feel really good. They say it's like a heroin addict's brain <laughs> after you ejaculate, it's like this <laughs> Unless you have tremendous vital power, like a fruitarian, a five year, a five year um, eating a fruitarian diet, fruit only, he has awesome power. He doesn't really notice the difference, but I remember when I was super sick and the opposite, I was devitalized and burnt out and exhausted. If I ejaculated, I felt sick, I felt wrecked. Well, maybe not sick, but I felt really, really off on the verge of feeling like sick almost. Just felt so spent. I had no energy left over to give like that. I just felt like zombified and ruined, distorted. <laughs> and I remember I did it once tw and then twice the next day. I was like, oh my goodness. Then I felt sick. I felt terrible, this dastardly. But obviously that was like a long time ago. I was like when I was burnt out back in my early 20s, now in my mid 30s. Going through some cleansing symptoms, but still feeling pretty awesome nonetheless in many ways. Um, let me just check. Are you still recording? Thank goodness, you're still recording. 11.26. I like the whole 11.33. One's a tree is my lucky number. Boop. And 11.30. <laughs> when you cleanse your system, you go through some emotional upgrading, uh, healing, detoxifying, cleansing. You might feel a bit sensitive. You might cry a little bit. You might feel a bit more teary, a bit more sensitive and tuned in. When you heal and cleanse eat your right diet, raw food diet, focusing on fruits heavily, hugely, almost exclusively, maybe a little bit of greens, like I said, no recipes is ideal, but go on, make some recipes, see how you feel. But no recipes is the way nature works, the way all the animals and insects eat. So when you eat a non-recipe diet of simple raw food, fruits, maybe possibly sometimes once, twice, a few times a week, per year, per month, see how you feel. See if you're instinctively guided towards greens or not. You will heal and upgrade your vibration enormously. And I've seen it myself mentally and emotionally. Everything improves, everything. Like it's much, much harder for me to get stressed yesterday, my third day. I was having an intense conversation for quite a while. I actually had two intense conversations for quite a while, like over an hour each time. Well, maybe in around an hour, or just a long time to have fairly intense conversations. Maybe the first one was 45 minutes. But the point is, you're way more <sighs> calm, less stressed, anxiety way less, fear and worry diminished. Much more, much better, much. And what I learned is, it's not so much everything that you say, but also the tone of voice and the body language in which you speak to someone. It's much more important than the words that you say. So that's my lesson from yesterday. Um, so the focus is not about nourishment, the focus is on cleaning, because once you have a clean body, you will function enormously awesome. We have a lot of healing. The goo, like I said before, <laughs> just before I finish the video, I know I'm skipping and changing, but it's all there in my mind, and I'm, I'm bringing it out in the way it comes to me naturally. So some people say I'm scattered. I say I feel I see this huge big picture, and I'm connecting loads of dots, and it's just there, and everything is interconnected and influential and it's body mind spirit emotions are all one they're not they're not even connected they are connected but they're not separate they are one they're all one they're connected fundamentally like a stick one stick not you don't say they're connected there's one stick all a tree is one tree of course you can say the branch is connected to the trunk and that's that's also true so it's accurate so like what i wanted to say was before i finish up with this video is like mucus and snot looks like the residue and how starches and meat and and animals like ferment and decay and are broken down their GI tract it's like it looks like snot and mucus so that's what happens when we get it when we're cleansing we eat a proper diet more when we lighten our food when we fast we expel rubbish from what's been stored in the body for potentially many decades even you know our entire life potentially things that are stored in our bodies everybody don't be don't think otherwise the more we affect ourselves and, and weaken our elimination channels, our kidneys, our lungs, our GI tract, 
through breathing. We do a lot of detoxification through breathing and through pooping and through peeing and also through sweating on our skin. The more we've congested ourselves, everyone, and our elimination challenges are worse, it just compounds and makes it a much worse situation. So corrective action is required and the best corrective action, in my opinion, is definitely fruits and mixed with just fruits. You could also add an intermittent fasting, listening to your body is sort of the best thing or even just fasting if you want to do a fast where you deliberately abstain from food for a few days. But I wouldn't recommend that for beginners. It's just too hectic. You can't live. Better to have energy, feel awesome sometimes, sometimes go through a detox symptom like I am. It's better just to be the stable path than the like big extreme, get on all enthusiastic, then get obliterated. And then you're like, oh my goodness, that didn't work. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> anyway, so I'm eating fruits. I'm taking some herbs, Hoshiwu, cordyceps things from my gene, my adrenals. And I want to take some cleavers and nettle soon for my kidneys and lymphatic system. But really the main focus really is just some fruits, to be honest, everyone. Just, you don't necessarily even need all the herbs. You, you, I think the gene, the adrenal herbs are handy, but ultimately not even essential. They may, they help. But get your diet right, get your sleep right, get your exercise right, get your listen to your body right. And you're gonna be laughing, to be honest. And you're gonna feel awesome a lot of the time. Gradually keep improving, feeling more awesome and awesome, more and more and more and more often. Often, awesome, awesome, often. <laughs> it's a nice day to be alive, everybody. Life is the greatest gift. We couldn't experience or talk about this or listen if we weren't alive. Life is the, the first fundamental basic blessing and gift. So we should always try our best to be really, really, really thankful and grateful to be alive. It's like just the best thing ever. It's a gift. We come here for a reason. We're souls. Oh, everything's perfect. Every mystic always said all is well. There's nothing wrong or like there's nothing wrong or bad. Like wrong. There's no mistakes happening in the universe. There's just lessons. There's just the playground of life. There's just this short little flicker of life in the eternal picture of consciousness or whatever you want to call that. You know, the big thing, great spirit, goddess, etc the universe there's nothing to be ultimately truly 100 percent afraid of if you know what i mean like we can't die either we pass on to the spirit world we see our we have a life flashback at the end of our life where we go we look at see everything that happened in our life in an instant and it all seems in fine detail and we also feel how people have felt based on how we've behaved so it's all about like soulful lessons consciousness growth there's no right or wrong, you know, but obviously there's wanted and unwanted. Definitely. We want things and we're attracted and then we, we don't want things and we're averted. So that's 100% true. It doesn't mean life or God or universe or God has made a mistake. Things are meant to exist and to be and to happen. And things are meant to seem fucked up at times, for sure, like messed up, warped, chaotic. Like chaotic energy is meant to be happening, like disharmonious energy. Then there's harmony and beautiful vibrations and frequency on in the scale of the whole picture too. It's like the picture of colors. It's all red, yellow, green, blue, and there's the black, gray. All this is all one, and it all has the bil a million shades. It's not just black or white. It's a million shades, it's a million frequencies, and they're all meant to be so we can play and have this party of life and to to co-create together and to experience together and to, to fight together, to love, live, laugh together, to traumatize each other, to bully each other, sometimes to get bullied, to have big gains, to have big losses. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> Everyone, I hope you had a nice day. Lots of love. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this video and hit the bell button for future notifications. I'm glad you watched and listened. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for sharing this precious, special moment of time. And yeah, I hope you have a nice day. I hope you feel inspired to try out the fruit only diet, optional greens sometimes, but try the fruits only for many days and weeks at a time. Listen to your body, upgrade your frequency and how to raise your vibration, eat real food, stop poisoning yourself, stop messing around with your fuel, breathe deep, play good, love, live, laugh, sleep well, exercise, get in nature and open your heart and heal your past, let go, forgive, all this is vibrational gains. And there's nothing better than a vibrational game because that's when you enjoy your life more and you're happier to be alive. <sighs> and all the diseases like mental, emotional, like physical, they'll all be diminished when you eat properly and stop poisoning yourself and stop you know, holding on to unforgiveness and anger and 
just holding it on like and just let go and love, live, laugh, understand, compassion. So check out the rest of my videos, my playlist, check out the description below this uh, video. I have lots of videos and beautiful, uplifting, vibrationally like hiring uh, music to help you to let go and to feel better after an argument and just to feel better and more joyful in life and more tuned in and inspired. And I have other playlists, recommendations and stuff. So. Thanks for watching. Lots of love. See you again. And then um, befriend me on Facebook and say hello and let me know if this video helped you, if you helped you in any way. And definitely give me a like. It'd be nice if you shared too. Please. <laughs> Just kidding. It'd be good if you shared. Now that there's no one to party. Have a party. See you folks. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>